there's no silver bullet. Water is such a diverse, such a large field. Uh, and people either work on one specific thing in water. But if you want to be really a uh, world leading industrial water treatment company, you need to have a portfolio of technologies and solutions uh, as opposed to one silver bullet that you're trying to hit everywhere. And that is what Gradient has really um, uh, embodied that we put our solutions out there, uh, which if they're good, that's great. If they're not fully there, we improve them and get them there. But we continue to take market feedback and admit where we need the new solution uh, that we don't currently bring. And that's how we've created this portfolio. We also have a philosophy of developing product, as in doing engineering rather than science. We're all coming from scientific backgrounds, so we know that there's fundamental science has very high value and it has a very holy place, but it, it, this, that's what we did while we were at MIT. As a company, we tend to do more engineering and creative uh, uh, innovations on existing fundamental science to bring it to the market in an economic, efficient, and quick fashion, you know. Gradient went from, we won the water technology idol in 2013, which is given to a promising new technology. In 2014, we won the industrial water project of the year, which is given to a running, working, profitable commercial project. That was the first time in the history of the organization that we went from a technology idol to an industrial project of the year globally within one year time frame. And again, that goes back to that philosophy of doing engineering rather than science as a business. And uh, I also just think, you know, hold it back to that whole adaptation uh, and ev evolving. Successful companies and successful uh, technologies both uh, adapt and evolve along the way. Uh, rather than stick to the one thing that they thought initially and, and continue to beat upon that. And I think that's where Gradient's strength lies and our customers see that. They look at us as a good solution but they also look at us as a long-term partner, a team that can solve any issue in water that might come their way. Our customers tend to be very large companies. We are in heavy industry we're in this for the long haul. We have, um, our customers, you know, don't tend to move quickly and the sales process is long. But we also, on the other side, we find that once you get in, you're in. And as a, growing up as a company, uh, even though we call ourselves a technology company, a lot of this has been about our processes, procedures, safety practices, how we treat health environmental safety. Because uh, when we come across, especially when we come across very large Fortune 500 customers, they take those things very seriously. Their operations depend on our operations. So reliability uh, every single time, not only maintaining the water quality, but running all the time, you, you don't have the luxury to shut down as and when you please. Uh, those are things that we had to learn and, and adapt to. We, those were the things that we didn't necessarily foresee as a technology company. You know, technology works, that's great, but there are so many other things that need to be done and really makes you appreciate the, uh, the complexity of large industrial operations, even running things like power plant, which is, you know, probably decades old technology, but uh, it's a very complex logistical undertaking. And those were the challenges that we had to address, we had to evolve, we had to bring people to, um, to take part in that. We actually competed against two incumbents once at a customer site, uh, real-time treating water and at the end of a three-month trial, we came out on top, not just on quality and price, but also on health, safety, and environmental practices.